Okay, Houston, right, we've had a problem here. This is Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Houston, we've got problems. But the good news is we're going to find solutions to the problems. In this very first segment in our course on physics. <laughs> maybe you took this course because you're like, ah, I, it's the next course. And maybe you're a little afraid of science. But I hope that you're going to realize it, that this word, physics, is awesome. And we're going to learn some really, really cool stuff. In the first short segment, I really want to talk about the nature of science. Science, and, and you've probably heard this in your science classes for a long time, but I want to simplify it if I can, right? So when we talk about science, what is science? You know, you know hypothesis and uh, experiment and all that stuff. You know what I think the most important word in all of science? This one. The word question. You see, what scientists do is they ask questions about, about nature, the natural world. We ask questions about planets and stars and atoms and biological systems and geology and how things move and physics is just one branch of science. We're going to learn some really, really cool stuff. So we talk about the, the uh, science. You're asking a question about natural things. Now, one last thing I want to just delve into when we talk about the nature of science. and It's really important, okay? I think a lot of people get kind of confused about these. You know, of course, that scientists do experiments. And you'll be doing lots of experiments in a physics class. It's kind of like by definition. But when we look at experiments, we note that there are two kinds of variables. And I think these variables get often confused. And I think let's just clear it up right now. There are uh, dependent variables. And of course, independent variables. So what's the difference? I think the best way to understand it is to start actually with the second one that I've written. This is the one that you change. And this is the one that changes. Independent, you change. Dependent is caused by the independent. So let's say you want to do a study on sleep and test scores. Right? So the hypothesis is the less sleep that you get, the lower your test scores. So the thing that I can change, this is what I would change as the experimenter, is I would give some of you three hours of sleep, and some four, and some five, and some eight, and some ten hours of sleep, and we'd monitor how well you did on the test the next day. The, the, the score, right, is the dependent variable. The independent variable is what I can change as the experimenter, which is time. Or another experiment, one that we'll actually do in a physics class, we're going to take an object, like a ball, and we're going to drop it from various heights. I can drop it from here, or here, 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 here. And when I drop it, I can measure the time it takes for it to hit the ground. And that's the dependent variable. I don't know how long it's going to take for it to hit the ground. I can measure that, but I can vary in 1 meter, 1.2 meters, 1.5 meters, whatever. That's the uh, independent variable. So make sure you understand the difference between independent and dependent variable. Short video, uh, it's awesome. Houston, we, we ain't got no problem. 